I literally read that entire book in just one sitting and so I had to pick up the second book literally right away I'm gonna start the next book right now. I feel like I read a book a day Good morning, everyone. Oh, I'm kind of tired. Welcome to the start of another vlog. I actually have a meeting in like 15 minutes, um, but I wanted to start this vlog because I got a very exciting package yesterday. So I already removed it from all of its packaging, but it is this very exciting package, Minoi. My Noe? They actually reached out to me asking if I would be interested in trying out one of their products. I already saw it and it's so pretty. The little thing that says thank you. Very exciting. I'm not late for my meeting. Oh, my meeting's in eight minutes. Okay, okay, okay. Wow. And there's a little thank you note. She's literally in like a little like pink fabric bag. Oh my gosh. Oh my god. <gasps> Guys. <laughs> Pretty. Oh my gosh, the leather is so soft. Brown like leather. Oh, it, just, it smells good. Leather tote bag and oh, hold on a sec. Okay, yes. The reason for this is because there are gonna be times when I do have to go to campus. I like really see people carrying tote bags and stuff on days that people aren't carrying backpacks and I kind of wanted to do that. So this is what it looks like. Brown color, very, very soft leather. I liked it because it has the zipper at the top. There's all these compartments and I'm pretty sure it has a laptop compartment. So perfect for, I feel like if you want to use this for school. Here's my MacBook being like 13 inch oh my gosh and then it can fit right in there oh my gosh it fits perfectly it's also a little compartment for like a water bottle and then a zipper on the outside here too so this is what it looks like oh my gosh it's kind of like the perfect it's kind of like the perfect college bag i'm not gonna lie okay wait don't look at my outfit though thank you so much for sending me this bag improve my college experience i'm trying to be like the college girls on pinterest and they're also kind enough to give you guys a discount so if you click the link in my description you can get 15 percent off your purchase and yeah make sure you check out their website in the description below. Okay, I need to go to my meeting now, but good morning everyone it is thursday oh it's 9 30 happy to say i was successful in taking a nap yesterday i just lied down in bed and started reading my book and then i fell asleep it's literally a recipe for success 10 out of 10 times i start reading a book lying down on my bed in the middle of the day i will end up falling asleep literally just like magic, just like magic. you know what happened i literally finished reading the summer i turned pretty i literally read that entire book almost in just one sitting i mean it's a short book but guys i really really liked it reading a book right before a movie adaptation is coming out is literally like my passion hobby i did that for like the Hating game or shadow and bone it just really improves my quality of life so i immediately picked up the second book which is it's not summer without you which i started reading this morning guys i really like the series the summer beach house vibe basically it flips from like past present where like in the present our main character belly is like 16 years old now the summer turned pretty like i guess it's like the year that she kind of like glowed up like people are treating her different and how she feels different it's like brother's best friend their moms are like really really tight which is why their families are so close but it's like conrad and jeremiah are like the two brothers that they're friends with and then we have Belly and then her older brother Steven They all had always been to this beach house every single summer since Belly was like 10 years old But all the boys would like play together and she was also the youngest one So she always felt like left out and Belly's been in love with Conrad her entire life And then like best friends with Conrad's little brother Jeremiah It also dealt with like very serious topics that I wasn't expecting like divorce, illness, like toxic behavior, grief like, All the awkwardness of being like a young teenage girl Like teenage, ugh, teenage girls really just can't be left alone to exist People are always commenting on them, what you're wearing, what you should be doing what you shouldn't be doing how you should look what you should care about what you shouldn't care about like i have a bone to pick i have a bone to pick with that i love some of the quotes in this oh i need a book journal i have like so many things i need to write the ending half of the first book really got me got me and so i had to pick up the second book literally right away 1 a.m i was picking up the second book um anyway i need a book journal She took forever literally i almost finished two episodes of singles inferno <laughs> literally how many pages is it one two three four five six seven eight and a little bit listen if you get it you get it okay hi you're on my laptop it's around 4 30 now so i teach three classes on thursdays one at 7 a.m in the morning 7 a.m and i just finished one which was at 3 30 and i'm lesson planning for my one at 6 30 i'm gonna lesson plan that right now but i thought that i would talk to you guys about what the t is i'm lying through okay if the ending to this is good then i'm gonna bin then just read the entire trilogy and read the third one too because i got the third one when i got the second one it's so easy to fly this series is 
so bingeable. Oh my gosh. It's because it has one of my favorite things ever, which is alternating chapters. We are kind of getting flashbacks and it's juicy. Now we're really seeing like Jeremiah's time to shine. Like if last year, why am I saying last year as if like I really lived the summer with Belly? In like first book, if it was like kind of the Belly, Conrad, childhood, brother's best friend trope storyline, I feel like this is kind of Jeremiah's POV, like Jeremiah's center book. And it's going to be like a childhood friends to lovers, like unrequited love. It's always been you, which I'm loving so far. And I honestly love both storylines. So I honestly don't know what I'm rooting for. Jenny Han, I'm assuming, I don't know if this is true, so don't quote me on this. I have a conspiracy theory that she wanted to make Belly Asian, but then the marketing industry and just like the published industry, like they weren't ready for that. And then she had to like pull back and made it a little bit more ambiguous. Okay, well, first of all, I saw the actors and the actress Lola is Asian. Right away from the beginning, after I saw that, I always pictured Belly as that actress. So she was Asian in my head, but it was like never canon, I feel like. It was never made explicit, at least. I think that Jenny Han always wrote it, like trying to be sneaky about it. There's this one line in the first book where it talked about Belly's father, but it said that Belly has his upturned eyes. It's why I'm thinking that Belly is like, part Asian was Belly meant to be written as half white and half Asian but then Jenny Han had to pull back which is why I'm thinking now that Jenny Han had more success with 12 the boys and got the movie adaptation she was like okay now it's the time I'm gonna pop off and we're gonna cast an Asian actress to play Belly as she should have been written is that what happened I kind of feel like that's what happened like, anyway I'm going to lesson plan this and then I'm probably going to read more I'm 28% of the way through I'm just gonna try to binge it Good morning, everyone. Look at my bed. Um, I need to make my bed. Anyway, I just wanted to update and say that halfway through now, it's not summer without you. Series is literally the most bingeable series I've ever read about in my entire life. I'm really enjoying it. Yeah, I'm gonna try to finish this if I can ASAP Rocky so that I can get to the third book. Um, but remember when I said that like the first book was very much like Conrad's book, and this is very much I feel like Jeremiah's book. First book, everything was from Belly's point of view, like all the chapters. But now we're getting like alternating Belly and Jeremiah chapters, and Jeremiah is very much giving me like I've been second into Conrad my entire life. Very much giving me that kind of vibe. Also not some of the overt slut shaming. It feels very dated. I like didn't even look up what the publishing dates were, but this does read older. Like as in like it was published older. Okay, so I've literally just been sitting here for like the past hour reading It's Not Summer Without You and I'm just over three quarters of the way through. And I feel like it's really taken a turning point. Now, book series is so much more like serious than I thought it was gonna be. Like I really thought it was just gonna be a lighthearted, cute like summer romance novel. And it's really... I feel like the first book kind of started out like that and then it kind of like the ending of it became super super serious and now the second book is like very serious truly like there's no going back after that last summer you learn more about the fathers in this book how their role in the family shaped the way that the kids are and it just gives more context that you didn't have in the first book like, i don't know i feel like by the end of reading this series it's like a very like rereadable series because it almost is like i really didn't want to bring this book up but it kind of gives me like we were liars in like the trope going to summer beach house but like not ever having the full picture until like the very end you don't understand everything and you don't have the full picture i feel like i still don't have the full picture actually it just really pops out the fact that they're all so young like they always give belly a hard time for her being the youngest you need to calm down you're like 18 you're like freshly a major okay you were a minor last year conrad is such an interesting character like he's just such a question such a question mark in my mind like you really don't know what's going on with that kid and like, i wonder if we're gonna get his chapters in the third book anyway i'm gonna try to finish this book i literally just might sit here and try to finish it yeah <laughs> Okay guys, I just finished What? What? The ending of this book is so confusing to me I literally am going to start the next book I'm going to start the next book right now Okay, yeah, I'm going to journal this book And then I'll probably start the next book but just think about how satisfying it's going to be to like have each book on here one after the other And we're all done. Look, it was only a page. Also, I'm still watching Singles Inferno. And here we are. Book three. We'll always have summer. Now I feel like this, this, I feel like this is gonna be a wild, wild ride. Okay, so it's been a while. It's actually almost 5 p.m. now, but me and my roommates are going to campus for a little bit. See you on campus.
Okay, so when I said I would see you on campus yesterday, that was truly a bold-faced lie because I somehow forgot about my crippling fear about vlogging in public. So it's the next day. I'm about to go to my volunteer. This is what I'm wearing. We're definitely bringing my book, my water bottle, and then we're gonna be ready to go. Let's go. Okay, so I'm here. Sorry for the noise. The heater is so loud here, and it's like very sporadic. And I haven't really had a chance to start. It's not summer without you yet, so hopefully we're gonna get to do that. I'll keep you updated. Oh, sorry, the printer's going right now. That's why it's so loud. But remember, I said last time. I hope this book has Conrad perspective chapters in it. Well, we're on chapter 20 and look, look. This just got very, very interesting. Okay, so I just got back home. There's actually so much, so much that I need to update on, but I'm gonna eat first. Hello everyone, I'm back. So actually I was going to talk like about my updates about this book and I was like, okay, yeah, I'll update everything after I finish eating. I literally almost finished the book while I was eating. So. I honestly really like this book series. I was not expecting it because I feel like it's gotten mixed reviews. I think that I've discovered like one of my god tier book tropes, which is like, I don't know how to explain this. It's like a love triangle, but between like brothers, but one of them has to like keep quiet for the sake of his brother because they love each other a lot. Like, you know what? Very much is giving me like infernal devices. Also, like, Conrad is really giving me like, okay, let's talk about this actually. Finally got like Conrad chapters in this book. And I feel like I've been waiting the entire two books just to get this, just to get this. It's really giving me like Jess Mariano from Gilmore Gilmore Girls. <laughs> These books each span a year. Like each of them are like one year after the other year. He's like just matured a lot and it's very much giving me like Jess Mariano when Jess first comes and he's like troublemaker, very angsty, self-interested and just like going through some stuff. And then we see him come back in the later seasons and he's literally the most perfect boy ever. And he's like just matured a lot, you know what I mean? But at this point in the book, I think that it's pretty clear. You know what? I was gonna say like who I'm rooting for, but honestly, I truly believe that Belly was just done dirty both times. Because of these two boys, I feel like just Belly was just done dirty all the time. She was always like this young girl. And there's always going to be some kind of power dynamic there. And I feel like it's pretty clear in the book how she is manipulated by like the people around her. So I honestly, I'm just rooting for Belly. Like I just want her to be fine. You know what I mean? Like I feel like she's actually going through the ringer in this book series. Yeah, I'm on team Belly. There's no way that this can end with everyone being satisfied. But I'll keep you updated, I guess. I'm gonna, I'm literally going to just finish this right now. <laughs> Okay, so I just finished. This took me by surprise. It really did. I feel like there's many reasons why. I think that Conrad is giving me Will Herondale. And any boy that gives me Will Herondale, you just know. You already know. You know what? The feeling that I get when I'm reading this book series is like the continuous thought of like, oh, you're so young. You really jump through time in these chapters. Things that they talk about happening from like book one or like book two, you like don't get an explanation or like the full memory or like the full scene until like book three. It was so smart. God bless Jenny Han's soul for writing these chapters. Extremely short. If you guys like short chapters, I think that's why the series is so easy to like binge and just like, I feel like I read a book a day, honestly. This is like so much more than I thought it would be and like encompassed and talked about so much. Oh, I rated the first book four stars, second book three stars. I literally feel like I might rate this 4.5 five stars i need to do schoolwork now so i'm gonna end the vlog here thank you so much for watching please please let me know if you've read this book series if you're thinking about reading it if you're excited for the adaptation to come out like just let me know all of your thoughts subscribe down below if you haven't already and push the notification bell to be notified every single time that i upload follow me on instagram at zinni can reads and i'll see you all in the next video goodbye Sweet.